It's time for our new Friday segment, Memory Lane. Today we take a trip to 2014 to learn what makes a Uber with former reporter Daniel Davis. Being from the Midwest, the UP was a new experience for me. Everywhere I went, people proudly proclaimed themselves a Uper and all had an unusual dialect. A, you know, or a. Boat, I'm gonna go to the boat and go around. <laughs> yeah, there, a. Eh? <laughs> oh, we pronounce our W's, our OW's. We draw them out. Yeah, they say sauna instead of sauna. And if you look it up in the dictionary, it tells you sow as in cow, sauna. Well, with that cleared up, I was even more curious to find out what it meant to be a youper. Oh my gosh, I think there's so many different ways to describe a youper. I think some people characterize it as a you know, person that has swampers on and wears camouflage. Even more curious, I wanted to know what youpers ate. Pasties, pasties and um, hearty food. Venison and pasties. A youpers usually eat uh, pasties, venison. Um, that's about it. <laughs> really hearty food that's gonna stay with you and last when you're outdoors all day, shoveling your driveway out. According to some, youper tradition includes being able to bear the cold, fish or hunt, and you might have in your closet a pair of original Iverson snowshoes to paint the snow. I am here at what is being called the holy grail of youperism, the youper's tourist trap. There is a slight debate in town if a youper has to be born here. I was once told that you had to survive seven winters to call yourself a youper, but I'm a little afraid to call myself a youper to the, for those folks that were born here. I don't know, they, they get kind of defensive about that, but, <laughs> but I don't know, surviving seven winters, well, 20 winters, that's pretty good. I believe a youper means that you were born in the UP. If you weren't born here, but you live here, you're a transplant. A youper? Well, I'll tell you what, a lot of people say that you can't become a youper if you, look at, there's a fish right there. You can't become a youper if you, um, he went away, if you weren't born here. Uh, and I, there was a discussion on Facebook about that the other day, and you know what, it takes a certain kind of person to want to be here. If you want to be here and you can love it, then you're going to be a youper. And I think I'm a youper, but I grew up in northern Indiana. Well, being the adventurous person that I am, I attended a harvest feast and tried carved antelope, boar sausage, and fried honey mustard rabbit. These youpers are a special breed. They bait bears, who would do such a thing, ski with dogs and call it scajoring, race outhouses, and do something called the hikey luna where they jump in freezing cold water when it's five degrees below zero outside. Place gets more snow than Alaska. When you fat bike, the view is breathtaking. You can capture an unexpected moment like this incredible view while snow plowing. Covering a Boy Scouts meeting where the Scouts actually get taught drumming by actual Native Americans. And if a fish came up to your bait right Learning the art of ice fishing. <laughs> and when you head south off <laughs> Highway 41, you're at a goat farm. Around. And learning the art of laughing <laughs> is a UP trait that should be heard around the world. For ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis. Eh? That was a great segment, eh? <laughs>